Hi everyone, it's Monica here from Living Horses with my DIY, um, whoops, with my DIY horse hair jewellery kits. Um, so in this video we're gone, going to make a beaded necklace for when you've only got a little bit of horse hair or alternatively if you've only got a bit of um, pet hair you can use this as well. Um, so with our necklace here you will have your um, super glue and thread and tape that you might need and then you will have all your bit, um, beads and bits and pieces as well. Um, so with our beaded necklace um, you do have your instructions in there as well obviously um, and a link to this video which you're obviously already watching so that's fairly straightforward. Um, so a couple of things what we want to do is we have our th um, our leather cord in there and what we will do is we might start with threading that up first. So for this part of the threading of the necklace, um, if we lay out our beads um, in the fashion and the style that we would want them to be, now each pack will have different beads in it so bear with me if these aren't exactly the same beads that are in the kit that you purchased. So if we lay those out there, um, pop that up there, that will be for our ends. And that will be, oops, those bits and pieces there will be for that. Okay, so to start off our braid, um, not our braid, sorry, our necklace, just grab your leather cord, take one, one of the smaller beads that we're going to use. So once you've got your beads laid out in the order that you want them to be hanging around your neck, just start threading them onto the le leather in that same order. Thread that through, bring that down to about the middle of the leather cord. Then grab your two ends of your leather, hold them together and slowly while you're holding it tight just pull the leather through until you get back to your beads. And still holding the leather together just slide your beads down so they end up roughly in the middle of the leather cord. So that's hanging more or less centred. What you want to do now is grab one of those beads and with your fingers just hold hold your leather where that bead stops. Then grab your leather cord without letting go with this hand and just weave your leather through into a knot and tie a knot off there. So once you've got that knot, slide your beads back along and pop a knot on the other side as well. So just loop it over. And through. Move it down next to the bead. And tie it. Okay, so you've got your beads now on your leather cord and they're not going to go sliding out of place. Okay, so your next step now is go to the ends of your, your leather cord and you want to make a little, put on your little slider to put around your neck. So grab another bead, um, a stock of bead, so that's the bead to join the two bits of leather in. I take one piece of leather, put it through from one side of the bead, then grab the other bit of leather and pop that in from the other side of the bead. You might have to squish in a little bit and push it through. But once it's in, it's fairly easy to manage and tie or pull your leather right through. There we go. So, next bit. Your ends for your necklace so that they don't slip out through your just adjustable bead there. Grab another bead pop it through the end, on the end of that leather, tie that into a knot, 
Lay a centimetre or two on the end. Push your bead up against the knot you've just put in and then tie another knot and slide it up next to the bead. Like so. And then we do the same thing on the other end. So pop your leather through, tie a little knot about one or two centimetres from the end. Push your bead up another knot in there we go so that's the base part of your necklace done it's adjustable you can get it over your head you can make it as long or as short as you like okay so now to do our horse hair part or pet hair part what we need is we need the little glass vial we will need our super glue and we will need our horse hair. So you really don't need a great deal. Um, as you can see, your tube is quite short. Um, for, horse, for the hair to fit in, you only need about one and a half centimetres. You can put in as much as you want. Um, I might just grab a little bit. Oops. Grab a little bit here. Line up some of those ends. Now you can be a little bit fiddly getting it into the glass um, vial. But you can do it in a few attempts. You, know, you can push some in if it doesn't work straight away. You can put some more in until you have enough in there for what you want. Oops. Okay. Now you want the hair to be shorter than the bottle because you do still have a stopper that goes in. So if this is your little glass tube and it's all pushed in, grab your horse hair at the top of that bottle here, hold it tight, pull it out. So you want to be cutting it about, whoops, about half a centimetre down from where you've just held it. So if you grab it with your other fingers and come down to here, so we're going to cut it along that line. Pinch it back together and pop that back into, oops, back into the glass. So if you can see, it actually finishes off shorter. It doesn't go all the way up to the lid. So that's your horse hair in there. What you can do um, is you can get some glitter if you want to put some glitter in just to sort of colour it up. But we can leave it the way it is. Now, move some of that horse hair out so grab your little rubber stopper that is in your kit get my focus back on you want to pop that into the top of that glass vial there we go now grab your super glue and just run a tiny bit of glue along the edge of that rubber stopper. You don't want to put too much going in. I've left that lid off a bit too long. It doesn't want to come out now. I'll just grab another tube of glue. I can't fix this one. There's the glue. I'd left the lid off this for another project. Okay, so just run a tiny, tiny bit of glue around that rubber stopper. There we go. 
one. Give that a tiny little bit of time to dry. Okay, next bit's going to be a little bit more tricky. So you want to grab the lid for that. Take your super glue and very carefully just run a bit of glue around the inside edge of that cap and pop a couple of drops in. Grab your glass tube and just slowly twist it inside the cap. If you've got too much super glue in there, you can pull it out and just um, wipe some of it off with a tissue. There we go again. Now you may have to hold it for a couple of minutes until that glue goes off and fully sets and holds on that cap. I might just pop that there. I'll go and put the lid on this. Now because it's super glue on glass, it will take a little bit longer for it to set and cure. Super glue on glass, drying time takes considerably longer than instant super glue would. Okay. What we can do then in the meantime is we can take our little beads that we've got here. So you can use little pliers, which I tend to use because I do a lot of this, um, or you can just use your fingers. You want to take your, your ring, your jump ring, and with your fingers just gently find where it's joined up together and slowly pry it open or push the uh, wire apart. And then... We will take a little glass vial here. Take your necklace and your centerpiece. We'll have a little um, little ring on the bottom of that, and pop that in onto there, and then carefully and slowly push your wire back together to join it up so as I said I've got little pliers if you can find little pliers they do make things a bit easier and you push it back on together and then you, what you can do is grab your other little rings Oops. I forgot those two are joined together already just to make life a bit more interesting. And then just thread your charms on that you want to have on there. Like so. And you can go onto that through that center bead there, um, through that center ring as well. Close it together. There we go. And your necklace is done. Your charms are there. Your little bead with your um, horse hair is in there as well. And you're finished. Maybe give it another half hour to an hour for the glue to set. But that's it. You're ready to go. Enjoy.